Now that we have seen the angle subtended by a chord at a point, let's see the relation between the length of the chord and its respective angle subtended at the circle, center or any odds of its circumference. This session is about finding the relation between length of the chord and angle subtended. Relation between subtended angle and length of chord and its length of chord. So let's see how we can relate the subtended angle and its length of chord. So let's take a circle and understand the concept through the investigation of the length of the chord and its subtended angle. So here is the circle and here say for example I take a chord AB and here I have the center. Let me take another chord CD. Then clearly there are two subtended angles made by chord AB and chord CD. Say the chord AB subtends an angle at the center of the circle. This being the center subtends an angle say theta 1. There's another chord CD which is bigger in length as clearly we can see that chord AB is smaller than chord CD and chord CD is bigger than chord AB. Therefore, the angle subtended by this chord CD with the center of the circle and the center like this. So we see that this angle is theta 2. So angle subtended by the chord AB at the center of the circle is theta 1 and the angle subtended by the chord CD at the center of the circle is theta 2. So we have two angles. Let's see the relation between the two angles. So here since length of chord AB is smaller than is smaller than the length of chord CD. Therefore, I clearly see that this makes a smaller angle and this makes a bigger angle. Smaller than the length of chord CD therefore chord AB makes smaller or subtends smaller angle at center of the circle and chord CD being bigger Chord CD subtends a larger angle at center O is how we understand bigger the chord or bigger the length of the chord, the bigger is the angle subtended at its center. So here we come with the conclusion that The size of the angle subtended subtended by the chord at its 
center of circle depends on the length of the chord that's how i conclude the size of the angle subtended by the chord at its center of circle depends on the length of the chord bigger the length of the chord bigger is the angle subtended at its center smaller the chord smaller is the angle subtended at its center so clearly i have here theta 1 is smaller than theta 2 because chord ab is smaller than chord cd longer the chord longer is the angle smaller the chord smaller is the angle that's how i conclude the session now that we have seen a property connecting angle subtended by equal chords at a point subtended by equal chords at a point we have seen that if two chords are of equal length that they subtend equal angles at the center of the circle. Now what would be the converse? Will the converse hold true for the same property? If I say that the, the two chords subtend an equal angle at the center, will the chords be of equal length? Is the reverse way of understanding the converse of the property which we have seen. So let's see the converse of the previous property connecting angles subtended by equal chords at a point. So here my question in the converse is will the chords which subtend equal angles at the center equal angles at the center of the circle be of equal lengths is the question which we are going to investigate through the converse. So here I have the investigative question which says will the chords which subtend equal angles at the center of the circle be of equal lengths? The answer is yes. Two chords which subtend equal angles at the center of the circle must be of equal length. We can just try with geometrical ruler and the, comp the compass with through which we can investigate the property. If I take a circle, if I take two chords, which subtend equal angles at the center of the circle center of circle being wall I have the chord AB and the chord CD which subtend equal angles now since the subtend equal angles, it is assumed in circle property that the side opposite to those angles must be equal. So because these two are equally subtended angles at the center of the circle O, therefore by converse the two chords must be equal. That is, since chords AB and CD out here subtend equal angles at the center O of the circle therefore 
the two chords must be of equal lengths is how I understand the property. The two chords must be of equal length provided they subtain equal angles at the center of the circle. So proudly I can say converse holds true. That's how we understand converse holds true for angles subtended by equal chords at a point. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.